Hi everyone, just at my local bank dumping some half dollars or I'm back changing the bag right now, but normally I check the coin return slot before I come in and I forgot to do it and I reached in and just astounding what I pulled out of there today. And there's still a couple in there, but take a look at that. How cool is that? All right, so we got the halves return going, but uh, first look looks like a whole bunch of Merc dimes. A couple of foreigns, a steely. We'll take it home and see what we can find, all right? We'll see you then. All right, everyone, so I have it all laid out here. 30 Mercury Dimes, uh, one, a couple of foreigns. We have a uh, 1969 Canadian Nickel, and there is also going to be a 1973 Canadian Dime, and we got a good old steely scent there, 1943D. But of course, some Mercs, and some of these are pretty good too. You see some early mint marks. Uh, what we have here, and I'll try to zoom in, do it as best we can, a 1917D. Um, a little bit better date unfortunately the conditions not that great 1919 d again kind of a similar de uh, deal a 1923 s again condition but a lower mintage 1924 d a little bit better condition this is probably the best merc dime that we have which is a 1926 uh, s so i do have my book out here you know, way down on the bottom and you see just over one and a half million minted uh, g4 or worse for the one I have. So about a $13 coin, still happy to have that, especially when it is free. All right, then we start getting into some more common dates, 27P, uh, 29P, 1934 P, a couple of 36 Ps, a whole 36 D. We jump over to 1937. 1937 D, um, and that one is going to be uh, some of the um, the better conditioned of the Merc dimes that we have. Uh, this one I'd probably say about 40 or so uh, based on what I looked at when I checked it out earlier. 1939P, uh, 1939D, a couple of 1940Ds, two of them stacked up there. We have three 1941s, a couple of 1941Ds, 1941s which is in uh, superb shape as well uh, too bad these are starting to get more common once you get into the 40s as i'm sure you all know 1942p 1942d two of them and then two 1942s's wrap things up with a 1943p and a 1945 so definitely the one i'm most interested in here is the 26s that's going to be the one commanding the most um dollar but a couple of coins in here with some nice uh, luster as well just happy to find this uh amazing considering all of this was just in my uh, coin return reject tray as i was dumping my half dollars so as i mentioned uh i was just returning my half dollars amid this uh coronavirus stuff sitting on some half dollars um wanted to turn that a little bit more usable um expecting bank lobbies to close so the coin machines to be unavailable i'm no longer picking up any additional coin at this point considering that so definitely going to be a hiatus on my end coin roll hunting but i wanted to get those back in there and um kind of a, a special day as of recording this it's saint patrick's day and one thing my grandmother always taught me was to always check those coin returns. Uh, initially, um, phone banks, things like that. Uh, but she instilled that in me to always do that because you never know what you can uh, when you never know what you can find when you're looking for that kind of stuff. So um, I do it now. Coin stars, coin machines, always checking those, and it's amazing what you can still find when you just open your eyes and look for this kind of stuff. So pretty cool to find 30 Mercury Dimes in the uh, coin return uh, at my bank here. Happy to have it. Um, St. Patrick's Day is um, my grandma's birthday. So I'm looking at this 
as um, a sign from her she passed a few years ago now. Um, so I found my pot of gold on St. Patrick's Day, and I want to thank my grandma for that. Uh, thanks for coming with me on this uh, cool little jaunt. Keep checking your change and your uh, coin machines. Hopefully you can find some cool stuff like that. Please, in the comments below, let me know um, what kind of interesting stuff you found in your coin machine returns, coin stars, things of the like. And um, until we uh, join again next time, uh, happy hunting to you, and we'll see you. Uh, on the other side of all this craziness that is life right now.